Let's move on now from the beach soccer. Let's talk the China's National Kids Cup. Season 9 got underway yesterday. And um, like we said, it was a lot of fun, excitement, and a lot of goals as well to so Cecilia. Uh, some teams are, are through to the round of 16. Some have gone back to the schools. Yeah, some have gone back. We have uh, boys international school. They've gone back. Keith and King. They've gone back. Rochalon also going back. Nobel winners also going back. Called best school. Crown International School, Ararumi School, all of them, they're going back. Gem Private School in Omoli, also, they were thrashed 7-0. You say that was a baton of fire. It was your first participation, but then they just couldn't rule on. Now, mm. uh, you have a uh, Rochalon, you know, that's why the fact that they didn't have the very best of the game, but then their supporters who came to the stadium were really happy, you know, kind of cheering <laughs> their team, but then they just couldn't get the victory they needed, although... Uh, CMS Primary School were the far better side on that day. Of course, of course, and that's why um, they are through uh, to the round of 16. So, so let's not talk too much in this segment. Um, uh, it's all about um, action, day one action of the channel's National Kids Cup. Let's enjoy some of the highlights and uh, watch out for some really, really spectacular goals. Of uh, the channel's National Kids Cup, and uh, we are in for another swell time, exciting moment. Uh, the unveiling of uh, tomorrow's uh, champions. That is what uh, this uh, championship is all about. And so good we are here. And here we are with uh, the first goal of uh, uh, 2017 Channels National Kids uh, Cup Lagos uh, Playoffs or Lagos uh, uh, Preliminaries. Uh, it is uh, the team that is on blue. Uh, Domain uh, Primary School that has uh, recorded the opening goal in this encounter. About the second minute of the game. The goalkeeper wouldn't uh, want to be beaten the second time, even though he's having a problem releasing that ball. But uh, it's quite an early opportunity for them to learn. And the men are looking good for goal number two. They have got the second goal within two minutes of uh, the kickoff here. This venue is uh, the Onikon Stadium. The other is the Campus Mini Stadium. Interestingly, both in uh, the Lagos Island. And here comes uh, Domain with a chance for goal number three. Oh, great job by the goalkeeper. But of course, uh, he could not quite uh, complete it. All right, all is set for a second match of uh, this uh, venue on this opening day of uh, season nine, Lagos uh, preliminaries of China's National Keys Cup. Oh, and uh, there's also Abdullahi. There's uh, Quadri to take your chances. That is what matters most. So here comes uh, another offensive and uh, the battery boys are struggling, but the uh, goalkeeper, look at goalkeeper missing it. Oh, what a mistake by the goalkeeper. Uh, so, uh, both international primary or uh, school, both international school considering the first goal here in this encounter. Action on the half of uh, uh, both international at uh, the battery boys, three of them. On to one ball, hustling to get the ball, and they move closer. Good that pass, but would that player be able to get onto it? See Badore asking questions. Would there be a second goal in this uh, game? And that's quite a lob, and uh, here comes a chance. Goal number two. Goal number two to Badore, and uh, uh, both uh, international are uh, in a tight corner now. For Russia alone, there's no have Victor Akpeno Mugtadai. There's also Lawal uh, Mubarak, there's Sadara Mola Dara, and uh, we've uh, got uh, the kickoff already. MRC score lines. We've seen the game with very average score lines. We've seen the game. I didn't see any goal at all, but we're hoping that uh, this game will actually see several goals being scored. And the ask question of the keeper, and it's a beautiful goal. Well struck ball, and of course, uh, the players don't know what hit them. He just struck that one, and of course, what's happening? And they're still on the ball, same as the Primary School moving the ball this time. And he attempts to strike it, but unfortunately he can't get through to the ball as the defender guides him and shows him off it. Only clutches as far as the opponent. It's a beautiful goal! Brilliant pull out and excellent goal scoring. Beautiful goal score, but then again, you have to talk about that delivery. The delivery was inch perfect. <laughs> uh, highlights um, from day one of the Channels National Kids Cup. That was at the Onicon Center. Obviously, two centers, uh, Onicon and Campus Square. We'll get to see some of the goals uh, from the Campus Square uh, later on on the show. Um, Cecilia, 
I could say um, a lot of goals yesterday, and we'll see yeah. confirmation of the results. Look at those call lines. Yeah, Jam Primary School, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Seven nil. <laughs> By the way, school, not Jam Primary School, and Bulls International School, two nil. And the convent, uh, Primary School, Maryland, and Keith and King, mm. convent won three to one penalties. That was really a yeah, class. Was a CMS close beating one, yeah. Rochalon, who brought their supporters to the stadium. <laughs> three goes to it's nothing. Man. But then they had to make a statement. Yeah, surely, and um, too bad. Um, uh, we've enjoyed their presence, but time to go. Um, elsewhere at the Campus Square, uh, National Primary School um, defeated uh, Noble Winners on penalties 4-1 after the uh, score ended 2-2 in regulation time. Um, we also saw Revival Primary School defeat Cold Best 9-0. That's uh, the biggest score line of the day. Uh, no doubt, in our general primary school, uh, defeated Crown Star International by three goals to nil, while St. Jude uh, Private School uh, just managed and um, edged Araromi Primary School by a lone goal. So, Cecilia, uh, what matters is the fact that all these teams that won are through to the round of 16 and still have a chance of representing Lagos at the Nationals. Today, action continues and we have Muslim Association will take on Linkrest. Linkrest, um, World famous Linkrest. Uh, you have Green Alvin. Uh, Alvin will take on Troika School. Uh, you also have a uh, Methodist School will play against Rolex, while Community uh, Primary School will take on Infant Jesus. Yeah, that's what we'll be having at Lincoln Stadium. Yeah. Then at Campus School, we'll be having Beautiful Path and Corona School from Lekki will be in action. St. Paul Primary School and Army Children's School will also be playing. You have Mao schools and Mass Mass school will also be in action. Explanter school and Abina school will also be in action. That's for Campus Square for today. So maybe best team win. We want to see more goals because at Campus Square we saw close to 24 goals <laughs> on the day one and day two more goals obviously will be expected and some are players we just have to be crying home because we know some schools will obviously go down yeah. and four from the Saints will go through to the round of 16. Mm. So we're talking about the screening process, what went down, you know, what the organizers had to go through, especially the technical committee screening players even after the whole process uh, during the draw. So more screening were done and these are the kids lined up and the technical committee had to check them over and over again, match them with the data they have to see. Maybe some players and some kids have been exchanged for the ones uh, that they submitted and it was really a good job and there you have it. Is, you know, asking the kids questions when they were born to just we know that okay this is all clean all fair and Kenneth Ochona got there also you know talking to the kids and all that just screening the ones that they feel you were not part of you know the kids the names that were submitted yeah. and so you guys will just have to go home so well it's all about transparency I mean, yes. and just making these kids learn yeah, it's all about conf con confirming uh, the eligibility of um, all these kids that have turned up for the Channel's National Kids Cup. So, uh, kudos and thumbs up uh, to the technical committee, the organizing committee as well. So, uh, they're doing a great job so far. And, um, you know, um, it's a shame, really, you know, despite our pleas here and despite, <laughs> you know, uh, I won't use threats or anything like that. that some, something got um, disqualified, got walked over uh, because um, they feel that. Overrated players. Players, yeah. Uh, uh, and just, they, 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 they don't get the message at all. Do they? they don't. They don't get it at mm. all. It's not a win at all costs. It's all about friendship, you know. It's all about you letting the kids learn character, attitude, and all that. So you don't have to go to the very extreme to make your school win. Come on, it's just a game. It's just a game. We're going to break now. When we come back, we'll be looking at highlights from the campus school and also those girls, those cheerleaders who came to cheer this school, but they just couldn't win.